Welcome to the CKA Certification Series Part 21. In this video we will cover a question related to pod priority. Without further delay let's kick start. Our first task is to delete the highest priority pod in the management name space. Okay, let's list the pods first. We can see two pods are running in this namespace. We need to find the priorities. Easily this we can find this by editing the pod. Let's edit the first pod. The priority of the runner pod is 20 million, and the priority class is level 2. Let's exit without saving, next let's check the priority of another pod. Second pod priority is 30 million, and priority class name is level 3. Which means, the second pod has more priority than the first pod. As per the question we need to delete highest priority pod, so we can delete the second pod. Before that, I will show you the priority classes available in this cluster. Okay, we can see four priority classes. We can add new priority classes if we want, that I will show you at the end of this video. If we click on the solution then you can see a command, this is the proper way because, if cluster have more than two pods then it is not easy to edit one by one, so we can use this command. So, when you run this command, it will fetch the YAML representation of pods in the management namespace, and then search for the word priority in that YAML output. When it finds a match, it will display the 20 lines before the match, providing context around where priority appears in the YAML output. We can see the second pod priority is 30 million, and the priority class name is level 3. Same like, First pod priority is 20 million and class is level 2. Okay, let's delete the second pod. Let's check. Yes, our first task was successful. The second question is for creating a pod with priority. The question is, in namespace lion there is one existing pod which requests one gigabyte of memory resources. That pod has a specific priority because of its priority class. Create a new pod named important with the image of engine X in the same namespace. It should request 1 GB memory resources. Assign a higher priority to the new pod so it's scheduled instead of the existing one. Please note, both pods won't fit in the cluster. Which means the cluster has no more resources for new pods, so when we deploy a new pod with higher priority, that time the existing pod will be removed from this cluster due to lower priority. Okay, let's check the existing pod priority first, then only we can schedule the new pod with a higher priority. One pod is running in this namespace, let's check the priority. Okay. 
This pod is requested for 1 GB memory and the pod priority is 20 million, and the class is level 2. Next, we need to create a pod named important, and that also need to request for 1 GB. We should need to assign higher priority than the existing pod. Once it is scheduled then old pod will be removed. Okay, let's create the pod. Let's list the existing priority classes. Exiting pod has level 2 priority, so we need to assign level 3 at least. Let's edit the YAML file and add the priority class. Let's confirm it. Okay, we added the priority. Next we need to add the resource limit. Go to the documentation. We don't need the CPU limit. Memory limit should be 1 gigabyte. Seems perfect, let's apply. The pod is created, we will have only one pod in the cluster if everything is okay. So let's check. Oh, something went wrong. Both pods are running, so definitely some issues there. Okay, let's debug. Our new pod has priority, but the resource request is missing. I think some issues in YAML file. Okay, let's delete the pod. We can take the help.
Okay, this is the issue, we can find two resource declaration in our YAML file, so we can remove one. Let's delete the pod first. Let's apply again. Yes, it is working as expected. Now you can see the old pod is terminating, and our pod is in pending status. Once the termination is over, our pod will be scheduled to the cluster. Actually this cluster is running out of resources that is why it is deleting the low priority pods when a high priority pod is deploying. Let's check. Congratulations we are successfully completed this question. Old pod is terminated. Let's check again. Yes, our pod is running. You can expect this type of questions in the exam. Next, I will show you how to create a new priority class named Level 4, and we will deploy a new pod with that priority class. Go to the documentation and search for priority class. Take the first sample. We can assign 40 million. Let's apply the YAML. We made a mistake, we have to change the name to level 4. So just delete and recreate it. Yes, our priority class level 4 has deployed. Okay, let's deploy a pod with this priority class. I'm taking a copy of the same YAML file.
new pod name will be important too. Okay, if we deploy this pod then our existing pod will be replaced, let's try. Yes. It is working. Our pod is now running. Thank you for watching this video. If you felt this video is useful then, please do like and subscribe.